Joe, it's been a while, but tennis is about to really get cranking. You got three matches this week. We do. Yeah, we can't wait to get started. Our guys have been working uh, really hard since they've been back from break. Um, they've been spending a lot of time on the court and just, yeah, I'm really pleased with the attitudes they've come back with um, from the winter break, and they're ready. CSU Pueblo, Metro State, Southern Utah, what type of teams are we looking at here? Yeah, these are teams we, we play every year, um, and they've been getting better. Um, and so it's a good good way for us to start um, with the double header. We'll get a lot of guys in, and, and we've got a pretty inexperienced team that we're going to put out on Friday. And so I'm excited to see them get through two matches and see how they perform. Um, you know, most of these guys are, it's not that they're freshmen, we only have one freshman starting, but um, they just don't have a lot of time in the starting lineup, the guys that we're going to put out there. So it's going to be a great opportunity for Evan and I as coaches to see how they do and work with them through these situations and, uh, you know, see how they perform under the pressure because it's, you know, they've all been practicing, you know, since they were little kids and they've been doing this, but now this is college tennis. So this is, you know, really the time that they want to shine. Yeah. Back to back matches on a day. It's got to be a little bit harder, I would think, than just a normal one match day. Sure. You know, they're used to playing about two hours a day in practice and then an hour of conditioning and lift. Now we're asking them to do, you know, six, seven hours on the court. So it's going to be tough. Um, you know, we're preparing them you know, kind of mentally and physically, you know, to be ready for Friday. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be out on the court all day Friday. And so this is when, you know, we might see some injuries, you know, pop up. And we don't, we don't want to have that because we want guys to be able to get through those moments. Um, but we've got uh, guys that are ready to step in if they need to. And I think we'll come through pretty well this weekend. First seven matches, I think, at home planned. <laughs> you got to like it. Yeah, I love the schedule. Um, you know, we... We wanted to have a heavy home schedule this year because we're hosting the conference tournament. And so we want our guys to play at home as much as we can, um, you know, just to really be as comfortable as possible in our environment. And we really do have a great schedule this year. And, uh, you know, getting starting this weekend with, you know, with three matches, um, and we were essentially three and a half months out from the conference tournament starting. So um, we've been building for this for several years. Um, I think our guys are looking for that. Our goals you know, are still to win the conference tournament. And just like every every team in the conference, they want to play their best, you know, in April. And, uh, you know, it's our job to defend, you know, our home court and, and be at our best. And so what we've really been emphasizing with our guys is is not that the goal is is that we're winning the conference tournament. It's, it's the habits that we keep every day in practice, every day that we can go out and, you know, hold each other accountable. That's what we're looking for. And the team that does that the best in the conference, I think, will have the most success in April, and we want that to be us. It all starts Friday. Coach O, thanks for the time. Thanks, Brian.